Did you know that dates in Power Query and the Excel worksheet are different? What we learn in this video about Power Query dates will blow your mind. Now, first things first, with Excel dates, when they created dates in Lotus 1, 2, 3, and then they migrated to Excel, they accidentally had 1900 as a leap year. 229-1900 does not exist. Well, when we get over to Power Query dates, they just didn't include it. Also, the first day in Excel is 1-1-1900, but that's not the first day in Power Query dates. It's 1-1, the year 1. So Power Query fixed both of the deficiencies from Excel dates. Now, the serial numbers are different in Power Query and Excel. If you look at 61, which is March 1st, 1900, everything after, those are the same serial numbers. When they skipped over the non-existent date 229-1900, they just assigned the number 60, where in Excel it would be the 29th. In Power Query, it's the 28th. So when you import 229 into Power Query, it will become the 28th. This will become the 27th. Also notice, 60 onward, and when they get to 0, they go to negative numbers. And guess what? All of these serial numbers work perfect in Power Query, because if you take a later date and subtract an earlier date, you'll get exactly the correct number of days. Now, let's import this. Well, in fact, I've already imported it. I'm going to double click. They import it as text, but no problem. I'm going to select icon for data type and convert it to date. And sure enough, there's no longer a 229. It's the 28th, 27th, and so on. And look at that. We have a date in the year 136. I'll do the same thing here. Now, the amazing thing is all these dates are going to work. So if I select Start Date, Add Column, Date, and I want the year. Bam, we have the year and 136, that's a long time ago. I can also subtract by selecting the end, then holding Control, select Start, Add Column, Date, and Subtract. Now, when you directly take two dates and subtract them, like if you typed out the formula, it gives you a duration. And that's just an amount of time. So the function that Power Query uses to subtract two days is, hey, from the duration, give me the days. And then from that subtraction, which is really a duration, it gives you the number of days. We can also add, let's add 30 days to all of these end dates. We want to add column, Enter, Custom column. We're going to name it Due Date. And we have to use a function called Date dot add days, open parentheses. And the reason we have to use this is because the data type is date, and we're going to add a whole number. Those are different data types, and you can't do that directly in Power Query. So no problem. This function comes to the rescue. And comma, and the number of days we want to add is 30. Click OK. Now, of course, we can't add 30 days to the last possible day, so we get an error there. Now, I'm going to load this. It's a connection only. Now, of course, in Excel, it's much easier to do date math. If I need to find the difference between two dates, I just take the later date minus the earlier date. And of course, Excel lets us do that math operation, and we get two days. We can also directly add different data types. Hey, there's a date plus 30. Enter, and bam, easy as that. Now, the last thing we want to do is the difference between hard coding a date in Excel worksheet formulas and Power Query. Now, sometimes you do need a text date. So 1 slash 1 slash 2023 with double quotes around it, and bam, we've hard coded a text date. If we want a number, we use date. 2023 for the year, comma, one for month, comma, one for day, close, and enter. Now, when we go over to Power Query, there will be a different type of function, but the arguments will be in the same order. We'll double click. I'm going to add a new step, highlight. We use a pound and use an intrinsic function called date, open parentheses, 
2023. That's the year, comma, one, comma, one. And click the check mark. And bam, that intrinsic function allows us to hard code a date into Power Query. Now, if we want a text date, well, the formula is exactly the same as over in the worksheet. 1 slash 1 slash 2023 in double quotes. Click the check mark. We can see the little apostrophe, which means it's text. Now I'm going to close. And the last thing is just, guess what? We actually can have dates in Excel, 1, 1 from the year 1 all the way up to this final date. But it's got to be in the data model. So the data model, both in Power Pivot and Power BI, can handle all these dates. All right, we'll see you next Power Query Excel magic trick. Yeah.